Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm at the DRV Mobile Suites factory doing a couple videos for you. And this is the 2024 Mobile Suites Manhattan. This is their two full bath bunk model. So this is a great floor plan if you guys have kids. This paint job is absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be one of five options that you have from. Three are gonna be in the standard, two in the Elite Series. I'll put that along with the specifications, things like length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, down in the description along with my contact information. I am in a sales position and I do sell these. So if you guys are in the market for an RV, give me a chance. I will prove through service and price that I'm going to be one of the best options in the entire country. So today I'm gonna do probably about a 20 minute tour, kind of walk and talk here later in the year when I get a little bit more time to go through it. I'll do a really in-depth like construction video and all that good stuff. So hit that like and subscribe button for that future RV content. I hope you guys like it again. It's the 2024 Mobile Suites Manhattan. Again, two full bath bunk model. There's a lot of different options you can get on this, including cabinetry color. This is gonna be one that is light and bright. I just did one that is going to have kind of the darker tones, but you'll see this thing is absolutely beautiful. Dual opposing slides that give you a ton of walk around room around this island. I love the positioning there of the TV as well. It's a great little kind of central place there for entertaining. You got this island with accent lighting, a dishwasher, super high, tall, wide slides, which is always a plus for a luxury RV. Now this is a full profile. So you're gonna notice the ceilings, you know, are pretty incredibly high. But what I like about mobile suites compared to some of the other brands that I do, obviously it's gonna be a little bit more expensive but they take the little touches, like the Max Air Vent fan here, for instance, that is something so minor you would think, but you take care of the little things and big things will happen. So typically that Max Air Vent fan is exposed, but they close it up with that grate, just a nice little added touch that shows that they're gonna care about the rest of the RV. So for slide height reference, I am six feet tall, a big, beautiful RV salesman, and I lift my arm up all the way to the top of my palm, and that's gonna be the height. So even if you are a super tall person, you can fit in this RV absolutely no problem. You're also gonna see you have a ton of windows. They're all dual pane and tinted. They all also open up for a nice breeze. And they got the old day shade and the Dracula shade, the nightshade roller, which is always a plus. So again, tinted, dual pane, they all open up for a good breeze. Overhead cabinetry is gonna go across the entirety of the slide, which is absolutely massive. You also have a table for two that you can expand out to four and you can choose to get two or four chairs depending on you know how you live. I'm assuming with the bunks, you're probably gonna get four chairs. You also have some cabinetry behind there as well for some stowaway items. And then I know if you're buying this, you got plenty of kids, so you need a ton of outlets and a ton of outlets there are for sure. You even have USB ports riddled throughout this entire camper. True hardwood cabinetry, so it doesn't get any better than that. It's just gonna be like you know inside someone's home. You're also gonna see it's on the strut, so it's hands-free. And babe, if you're watching, I love you. What a saint, she let me drive. Four hours at 3.30 in the morning, went to the Salem to do a premiere on a couple travel trailers. Luckily, she allowed me to take my day off to kinda, kinda chase the dream here, baby. Increase sales and make family life a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. That's always the goal, for sure. Now, in the slide out, you'll also see, look at that. You get that nice little accent line there beating across. Makes for a nice ambient glow at night when you come out for a midnight snack. You're also going to see you have your power theater seating. So I love seeing that. There's also a couple different choices on coloring. But extend, retract, got a USB port, a couple cup holders, and a little cubby there to place, you know, your controllers. A couple of the light switches right over there. Again, you got your TV. It's going to be the Insignia Smart TV. It's also going to be on a swivel so you can angle it whichever way that you choose. You also get the 34 inch electric fireplace for the Furion. And in an RV this size, on a day that's like 40, 45 degrees, that'll heat up 500 cubic feet of space. So it'll really heat up the entirety of this room. Absolutely no problem, which is a huge plus when it comes to you know propane costs and whatnot. You also got a nice little residential style fan right up there that's just looking sharp in general. Behind this door is gonna be your bunk room. I'll get to that here in just a second. Same slide height over here for this slide, but you're gonna get another couch where you can sit down, chill, or maybe even sleep a couple additional folks. You also get another window for more of a breeze, hopefully a good view, 
and more overhead cabinetry. That's going to be, you know, kind of the same as that other side there. But you also have your JBL and then got that little Sony box there, baby. So moving along the slide, you get plenty of countertop space. You're also going to see you have the industry's largest oven, the Insignia, with real hand-laid tiles there behind it with the accent tile piece I think just looks really sharp. Four stovetop burner along with enough room to cook a turkey so you can have Thanksgiving on the road. You're also going to see you get plenty of storage here as well. And they got the copper tabs with the magnetic latches along with the soft close just to add that extra oomph. Now for the storage right here, you're going to see you get a couple slider trays, which is always nice. So those pull on out just for easy kind of access. The middle one's going to have one as well. And then the bottom three are just going to be pull out drawers that are all looking just like this. Built into the island, you're going to see you got a couple outlets. You also have a dishwasher. Who likes to do dishes? I know I don't. Surely not paying this much in doing dishes, that's for sure. You also have another little pull out tray. You're also going to see the accent lighting. The old farm style, waterfall style, whatever you want to call it, sink, along with the high-rise faucet. And I like how the sink has two different zones, so maybe like a wet bath, dry bath situation. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hitting those dishes from all angles. You also get the Insignia refrigerator to match, you know, the oven and the microwave and the TV. So I like seeing that the fact that they're matching up. For someone that's OCD, that's going to really help out. Now, in this refrigerator, it's probably going to be one much like your home. So it's going to be a residential style. And you see, you can definitely fit in a week's worth of food. Absolutely no problem. And here on the freezer section, you got the bottom tray with the partition center that you can remove along with that and a little ice maker. Above the island, you got whatever that thing's called, but it's looking nice and fancy. Looking good, looking good. But let's go back and show you that bunk room because I have a feeling a lot of people are waiting for that. Now going behind the door, you see you got kind of that cloudy glass. I'm liking that. But check this out. So you got room for a couple kids right here. They each have their own uh, window, which is a big time plus. Storage underneath in the form of kind of these dresser drawers. So that is awesome. Emergency exit, pull, push and pop if you need to. But then you're also going to have more storage over here and kind of a dresser action over there. And behind this door is your full bath. So your kids or your guests have a place where they can shower and, you know, use the restroom in peace. You're also going to see you've got an area where you can plug in, you know, your cable or, you know, maybe a TV, something like that. Another window for a good breeze. Let it feel a little bit less stuffy. But look at that. That thing is massive. The top drawer is going to be just like that. Probably put some towels or something that you're not going to access too much up there. Pull out drawers out the wazoo. You got four of them. The bottom two are going to be twice as big or twice as deep. This is going to be your bathroom. So you can see accent lighting. You got access to your plumbing and some storage here underneath. Two more pull out drawers. Oh, it's getting a little dark right here. I forgot to put that dimmer up. But anyway, you got the sink. Outlet, whoosh, the old bowling gun, medicine cabinet, and even this is going to have a big enough shower for someone my size to get into, which is plus. So I'm six feet, 295 pounds. I fit in here just fine. You also have head height. It's going crazy. My hands can't even reach it, along with the max air fan to help circulate, you know, some of that air. A place where you can put some towels and whatnot with the adjustable shelves. And then you get the porcelain foot flush throne right there. So that's the bunk room, the Manhattan, baby. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. So right when you walk in the door, uh, you're also going to see you've got these cabinets to the right. So check that out. More storage that's all movable, so you can shift those. They're kind of malleable to however you want to use it, or you can completely remove them. More of the same down here below. They even have built-in lights, which is a plus. Fuse box. And then a place where you can put in a couple hanging items. Also a couple more switches. Your max air control fan right there, which is behind that grate that I was showing you. All your slide out controls. And then this is where you can check, you know, all your different tanks. Now, if this was charged up a little bit more, not on my jump box, you'd be able to check those tank levels. 
the Dometic to control your AC and your heat, your, both of your dual awning controls, and then you get a nice looking little clock there. Now heading up into the bedroom, you got your other bathroom right here. So again, a second bath, full bath, the max air fan, same size shower back here. So I don't need to jump in that again for you. More access to your plumbing and two pull out trays, much like the other one as well. Another medicine cabinet here as well. But this one has this fancy pants kind of LED light that's running through that I think just looks really sharp. And at night, if you don't want to turn on, you know, the, uh, you know, turn on the main light, you know, you're good to go. Plenty of storage here, more of the same down below through that other door. And even all these are all on the soft close too, which is nice. And they still have the real hardwood and the copper latches. Max air vent control is going to be right there. And then of course your old porcelain throne. So you can sit down and not have to worry about it. It's not one of those cheaper kind of plastic ones, you know, that you need to worry about. Bedroom slide starts right here. It goes all the way up to that front closet wall. You can see you got more LED lights. And then this is going to be a closet. Didn't turn the light on, but that's okay. Little area for some detergent. Oh, there you go. You got some area for some detergent, some places to hang, but then you also got room for a fully stackable washer and dryer, which you can order from the manufacturer. And I don't know if I mentioned it or if it was in a different video. If you guys are in the market, use me. I know what I'm doing with these mobile suites. I can walk and talk you through all the options, what they mean and why you should get them. I got put through the ringer here. We just picked them up about two months ago and I've ordered a couple of these. And I'll tell you what, DRV customers are awesome. They know a lot. So I had to learn a lot very quickly and I would love to be somebody that helps you, you know, and earn your business at the same time. So I think that'd be great. Vanity slide right here, which is optional. You can also see you got the insignia that's going to be on the angle with some overhead storage here as well. And then with the soft touch ceiling, which is going to help for insulation and kind of sound deadening. Look at that. That's just pretty cool. It's just a nice little added touch to a super luxury camper. Emergency exit, pull, push and plop, more solid surface countertops. And then you have six of these drawers looking just like that. King size bed with some storage there underneath. You're also going to notice you have a shelf on this side with an electric phone charger. So drop your phone. You are good to go. Some overhead storage as well with a window that does open up for a good breeze. You also get a ton of room to walk around, which is nice. You got the old mirror right there looking sharp. I think that's a nice little touch with kind of that little, little crossbars going on. And it opens it up into a really nice closet too. So you have a safe over here on this side, cedar backed. You're also going to see you got room, plenty of room for your hanging items. Little dresser over there, but doesn't get much better than that. So kind of like that walk-in style feel. But all right, guys, I think that about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the tour. Again, this was the 2024 Mobile Suites Manhattan. Now I'll be putting out a much longer version of this once I get one to the lot. Kind of take my time a little bit, but today I'm running through a bunch of them. But uh, hit that like and subscribe button. That video will probably be coming out here in about a month or two. So now I'll show you kind of where things are located on the outside. And then I'm going to keep on trucking along, baby. So 2024 Mobile Suite Manhattan specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description along with my contact information. This thing is just looking nice. Dual awnings, metal wrapped. They're going to come out a pretty good distance. You also get the six point hydraulic auto leveling and the front jacks here on a 5% kind of, uh, what do you want to call it? Like an incline or whatever to help with stability, which is nice. You also see the more ride pin box, which is a really upgraded uh, pin box compared to the most of the RV. Little gen box prep right there. You can order it with that. You also see your slide out tray for your batteries, you know, your inverter battery disconnect, real metal slam latch doors. These ones are going to be on the strut, which is really nice. You also have a massive pass-through storage center with that tough flex flooring. Also shows off some of that construction. I mean, it's all so well buttoned up, which is a huge plus. Step above steps that flip up into the doorway. They're gonna be really sturdy, really nice, conducive to kind of bad weather getting in and out still. You're also gonna see you have your spare tire under here and it's fully heated and enclosed underbelly, which is nice. It's exactly what you would expect in a very luxury RV. Frameless windows, 
one year kind of bumper to bumper warranty with a three year structural, which is always a plus. Triple axle, because this thing is a big boy. You also got those upgraded beefed up Goodyear tires. Little storage right behind there. And then coming out the back, you're gonna have a hitch with a seven way plug to pull up some devices. You also have a ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof that you can get with a fiberglass roof if you would like. So that's really nice there. A little bit of storage with your power cord reel behind this door. You can also get it with slide toppers if you would like. The slide topper is basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here and it protects the top of your slide from any type of debris that might fall on top. So one of your dump valves there. Again, triple axle. There's gonna be the other valve, the other dump area. This is gonna be your docking station. So, you know, your potable water and all that good stuff's gonna be in here. Black tank flush, basically a sprinkler system for your poop tank. You also have hot and cold water access in the form of an outside shower, and then your different valves. This is the back end of that pass-through storage. And then here behind this door, you also get your water manifold system, which is copper, which is nice instead of that plastic. So, you know, if you're, uh, if you're driving along and your hot water in your shower for some reason starts leaking, shut that part off. Make a hit, hiccup, not a headache. You can get it repaired after your trip. Hopefully nothing happens, but if it does, you're safeguarded. Control for your leveling is gonna be right here. You also have another control right there as well. You have your propane bottles. You can see they're, they're gonna be the oversized ones with the tray that you can pull them out. And then we're back to the front, which I just showed you. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button for longer, more detailed versions that are be coming up here shortly. But again, this was the 2024 Mobile Suite Manhattan, the two full bath bunkhouse model. My name is Hunter. Have a great day. See ya.